In this video, I'm gonna be answering the question, how do chickens lay their eggs? And stay tuned till the end because I'll go through the development of the egg and the journey of the egg. And lastly, some possible laying problems that your chicken can come across. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breed. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Our topic of today is just one of those basic questions about how do chickens lay eggs? Now, we usually don't think too much about it, but still, I think it's a fascinating process and I hope you'll agree. And it is a long and fairly complex process, but for us, we just see the end product, an egg. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's start off with time and hormones and the internal clock of the chicken. Nearly all birds and mammals have a hormonal clock. When it activates, it does vary by species, but when that point is reached, hormones start to flow through the body, causing several changes to occur. For example, in the chicken, in the pullet, you will see her comb start to redden. Her body will fill out a little bit and her behavior may be erratic for a while. This is all triggered by the release of hormones, predominantly estrogen in pullets. She may start to cluck and cackle while going from nest to nest looking for a good spot. She's probably a bit confused since she doesn't know what's going on, but once she lays that egg, she will soon get the hang of it and it will become her daily routine for the next year or so until the molt. Once she has laid that all important first egg, she gets accepted by the older hens into the layers club think i'm crazy watch how the older hens behave to a pullet once she starts to lay some breeds take longer than others to reach their point of lay this time period can be anywhere from 16 to 28 weeks depending on your breed now, what else is needed to lay that egg? Well, once our chicken has reached that all important point of lay, whether or not she lays is dependent on a couple of things too. A hen needs to be well nourished in order to lay an egg. A hen suffering from a poor diet or an overload of intestinal parasites will likely not lay. Or if she does, it will be erratic and the eggs will be small or soft shelled. As far as a poor diet goes, you wanna be sure you're feeding your chickens the right feed and the right percentages of nutrients. If you are interested in learning more about the correct ratios for chicken feed, be sure to check out this article over here. I'll link to that in the description. Now moving on, if she is well fed and cared for and receiving enough calcium in her diet, she will lay beautiful eggs for you. However, she also needs light. Although pullets will generally lay regardless for their first year or so, after that, the sun and light plays a much bigger part in the equation. Chickens need about 14 hours of light to start laying eggs. This is why it is much more difficult to get hens to lay through the winter months without supplemental light. Many people add supplemental light through the winter months to boost production in the egg department. I don't like to and consider this a resting period necessary for the regeneration and health of the bird. Now let's talk about the development of the egg. It's a fascinating process that it takes somewhere between 25 to 27 hours to accomplish. This is why she will lay a bit later every day until she drops a day. Hens do not like to lay in the late afternoon, early evening. Hens are born with two ovaries, but the right one shrivels up and the other contains all the eggs she will ever need in her lifetime. The yolk matures in the follicle or the ovary and when ripe, the egg will pop out from the follicle into the funnel or infundibulum. This is a weak spot of the reproductive system. If the egg misses the funnel, it will internalize and perhaps cause an infection known as egg yolk peritonitis or EYP. This can be a serious problem for the hen. Now let's get into the journey of the egg. The infundibulum is the beginning of a long and complex journey for that egg. If the egg is going to be fertilized, it will happen in the infundibulum. Next part of the journey takes us to the magnum. The magnum is where about half of the egg's albumin will be added. This process takes around three hours hours. The isthmus comes next. This area determines the shape of the egg and this is also where the inner and outer membranes are added. The yolk is now enclosed in a protective sac. The uterus is commonly known as the shell gland. The shell is laid down in layers on top of the membranes. The shell is made from calcium carbonate which comes from the hen's body and diet. Too little calcium carbonate can result in shellless eggs or soft shelled eggs. Any pigment except blue will be laid down here too. Remember that hens that lay blue eggs already have the blue color in the calcium carbonate. So any pigment that is overlaid will change the blue to another color. The shell and dye process takes around 20 hours to complete. Now we're nearing the end of the journey. The glands of the vagina 
will lay the bloom on the egg. It will also turn the egg into the correct position for laying. The egg enters the vagina narrow end first, but it is laid blunt end first. The turning of the egg is called oviposition. Occasionally an egg can get stuck while turning. This is called egg bound. It's a serious emergency that should be dealt with quickly. At the end of the journey is the cloaca. This is where the egg first sees daylight. As you may know, the cloaca is the exit for poop. The process of laying the egg requires the uterus to avert or turn inside out to lay that egg so poop cannot pass at the same time the egg is laid. These are extremely strong muscles we are talking about. So any poop spots you may find on your egg came after the egg was laid, perhaps from another hen roosting in the box at night. Occasionally, you will get a customer who simply cannot buy your eggs because they come out of the poop hole. I have usually found it a waste of time to explain the mechanics of the operation to them. Apparently, supermarket eggs don't come from the same place and are okay to eat. Now, there's a really interesting study that I'll link to here about this whole process. Now let's get into some of the laying problems. I had mentioned something called egg yolk peritonitis. This is how it happens. The egg yolk is full of nutrients and if it becomes infected in the abdominal cavity of the hen, it can cause a life-threatening infection. There aren't any specific symptoms except that she'll look poorly, perhaps the feathers will look tatty, and she may be hunched over and sit quietly by herself. This requires veterinary intervention. This next one is kind of all wrapped into one here. Sometimes you get egg laying oddities like an egg within a second shell or two yolks in one egg or a wrinkled egg. Usually these things are occasional and should not become the norm. Things such as a fright or scare for the hen can cause some of these issues. However, hens that suffer from respiratory issues such as infections like bronchitis or acute rhinotracheitis will have egg quality that is also suboptimal. These respiratory issues are usually viral, so antibiotics won't help. If the hen recovers from the virus, it's very likely that her egg quality will remain poor or non-existent. The third problem, and I talked about this earlier, is called being egg bound. It's fairly easy to spot once you know what you're looking for. She will walk a bit like a penguin, maybe stop to squat several times and her tail may be pumping up and down. This is also a serious problem. The egg that is stuck is also preventing her from pooping too. Sometimes she can turn it by herself and sometimes she does need a little help. If you want to find the treatment for this, we've done an article on egg bound chickens. I'll link to that in the description. Now the last egg laying problem, and it's very occasionally, you'll just get a hen that just doesn't lay. This is likely some genetic problem that she's had from birth. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often, but it can. These hens can also be gynandromorphs, meaning they are neither one sex or the other, a quote unquote gender fluid hen. Now let's get into some frequently asked questions that people may have. How do hens lay without a rooster? They don't need a rooster to lay an egg. It is a natural daily occurrence. If you want fertilized eggs that will produce you baby chicks, you will need a rooster though to properly fertilize. Now, how old do hens have to be to lay an egg? I think I mentioned this earlier. It varies from breed to breed, but the point of lay can be anywhere between 16 to 28 weeks. Hybrid breeds like the Golden Comet will lay much sooner than the Orpington. How many eggs can chickens lay in one day? The vast majority majority of hens will literally only lay one egg every day. Occasionally, you will get two in the same 24 hour period. Now, if you want to look at some of these top laying chicken breeds that lay lots of eggs, I'll link to that in the description. How often do chickens lay? Well, the laying period for a hen is between 25 to 27 hours. It's roughly equivalent to an egg per day but it is normal to use a 1.25 calculation. How long will chickens lay? This too will depend on your breed. Hybrids will lay prolifically for one to two years and then production will drop off. My hen is laying soft shelled eggs. Why? Well, this could be because she's short on calcium or is having a problem metabolizing it. Make sure she has access to oyster shell at all times. You also may give her a vitamin powder added to her water for no longer than five days. There is such a thing as too many vitamins. It will take time, but she should should start to form good eggshells. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check this one out over here. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. And with that, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.